Hello, I'm Ineas from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a cliff in Cinema 4D. So as you can see in this project, I've created a cliff with some uh, random, gen uh, randomly generated rocks and some mountains in background. And honestly, I've created this project in within 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, I've used um, the material several times. Um, I I've used two separate materials and that's it. Um, and a preset sky from the um, advanced ski, uh, sky over here so um, as you can see it's really simple to do um, I didn't put too much effort in this just to show you the end result that you can get and as you get creative the better the result will be so as you can see right now this uh, is just 10 minutes of work um, didn't put much effort in this just so I can start on this tutorial as fast as possible and yeah the creative part is up to you so uh, let's get started create a new project in Cinema 4D and we're going to create our cliff using our splines over here so I'm going to use a Bezier, um, Bezier spline and then I'm going to hop in my top view part of over here I'm going to zoom out just a bit and then I'm going to draw a spline of the bottom part of our of our cliff. So the bottom part will be a separate spline and then the top uh, part of our cliff will be a separate spline and then we will be connecting those two splines together to get our cliff. So if you don't understand this quite yet, um, just follow along and then afterwards you can just um, start your own thing. So um, this will be all clear in just a few seconds. So let's create our bottom part. There we go. Just something like this. Click around several times. I'm going to do this real quickly. Doesn't really have to be perfect for me because I'm just making a tutorial for you guys. I'm going to connect this over here. Once you've created your spline, click over here and create a new spline. Maybe you want to create our, uh, your top spline a little bit um, bigger than the previous one. So just create some variation in there. Maybe um, yeah, just change the the angles a bit. It's all up to you. Um, yeah, so you can see what you can come up with. And there we go. Okay, so I have two splines, and now I want to hop back into the perspective view, go to our object. Um, I'm not sure how this is called. Use model mode. Okay, go to model mode and take your last spline, so the top part of your spline. You can rename this to top and rename this one to bottom. There we go. Click on the top spline and then just pull this up right over here. So to change uh, through these steps over here for the position press E on the keyboard, rotation R and T for the scale. If you didn't know this already it's uh, a helpful trick instead of always clicking over here. Um, same as over here I'm just using my third mouse um, to hop in these things over here. So the quicker you can work the better the results you will get in fewer times. So okay um, now we want to connect these two splines together to get our cliff. So how are we going to do that? We are going to the hyper nerves over here and we are going to select a soft nerves. Now we are going to take our two splines and drop them into our soft one uh, nerves. Now at the soft nerves we want to go to caps and no caps. Okay so now the top part of our cliff is gone and we will fix this in a few seconds. Maybe we want to also add some um, more division over here so just increase the divisions just like this there we go looking pretty fine like that and maybe just maybe let me okay subdivide per segment doesn't really change much um yeah okay I'm going I'm just going to keep this as this right now it will do just fine I guess okay so sorry for that and now we are going to right click um, no we are going to click on the soft nerves go over here and click on this icon and if you want to work faster again just press C on the keyboard that's the uh, that is a shortcut for this um, making uh, making your object editable so now you will be able to edit it um, but as you can see it still has some cap in there so we right click this. Um, select children, right click and connect object plus delete that will make one object and we want to rename it to cliff okay so now hop back into our right um, perspective and take the point mode over here and select our rectangle selection and over here you can see only select visible elements check this off and then just 
select the top part polygons, um, top part points over here. Hop back to the perspective view, right click and over here you can see connect points slash edges. No, close polygon hole, I'm sorry. Okay, close polygon hole and then if you drag over this cliff, as you can see, um, now we can just click and then we have our yeah, plane uh, ground over here. So now we want to just uh, connect some points to create some variation in our ground because afterwards we're going to randomize each point to get a realistic looking cliff. Um, so yeah, we're going to right click and choose our knife tool over here and then we're going to connect each point to a logical point on the other side. So it's all up to you how you're going to do that but just make sure it's as straight as possible as you can get. So something like this is pretty fine and uh, will do just fine. Okay so just connect this. This is going to take a little while but be patient and then you'll have a better result. So Okay. Hold Alt and third mouse to yeah, drag through your um, project, by the way. Okay. Make sure you don't select a point like this because this will mess up your model, by the way. So make sure you have each point correct like this, like I'm doing right over here. Just dragging to the other point and dragging to the other point and keep doing this. Okay, so once you've done this side, you want to make some of these. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we're done, I guess. Maybe I'm going to close this one too. Okay. So, if you're not understanding this quite yet, uh, it's pretty easy. Um, just each point, as you hit Control A on the keyboard, you will see each point. Uh, each point will be randomly uh, changed from position and then it will look like there are some curves and, and some crumbles in our mountain. So um, to do that is by holding Ctrl A to select each point. If you're in point mode, right clicking then and go to set point value. Then at all we want to change this to crumble actual. And for the X I will change it to 15 or maybe 10. No, I'm going to change it to 15. For the Y just 10 and for the Z 15. And if you hit enter it will randomly emit everything and you will have a cliff. So if we render this you can see it looks awful, really awful. So that's because of the funk tag over here. It's doing too much effort so we want to angle limit it to let's say 20. Okay maybe a little bit more than that. 40. Okay. 30 then. There we go. And as you can see, it's still looking pretty awful, but that's because we didn't add some lights. But I'm just going to um, add a preset physical sky. So click on physical sky, and I'm going to use basic low sky preset and just something simple. So maybe this one. And there we go. So as I'm going to look at my cliff right now, okay, it's not a good preset. I don't. Um, I'm going to pick this one then. Why are they turning out so blue? Oh yeah, I know why. Um, right click, uh, no, create a new material. Rename it to um, Mountain of Cliff Material. Cliff Material, okay. And now what you have to do is go onto Google and find some nice um, textures that fit um, that fit a mountain. So uh, as you have found that one, um, probably it won't be seamless and we want to make it seamless. So we are going to do that into Photoshop. So open up Photoshop. I have something here for the ground afterwards and I want to make it seamless. So how are we going to do that? Go to image, image, si uh, image size and right over here you can see 4000. I'm going to change to make it easier. Uh, width is 4000 and height is 3000. I hit OK. OK. Now what we are going to do is go to filter, go to other and offset. And now we are going to offset the horizontal 
um, from the 4000 divided by 2, so that means 2000, and then the vertical uh, was 3000, and we want to make it divided by 2, so 1500. Okay, so hit OK. And as you can see, we have some lines that divide our material, and that's not looking too, gro uh, too good over here, so we want to change that. We are going to change that by first, you want to double click on your uh, layer to um, make sure that it's not locked anymore. And then we're going to the healing tool over here, and we're going to use spot healing, bl uh, healing brush. And then I'm going to right click, change my um, size to whatever you want, and make sure the hardness is uh, not too high and spacing as low as possible. Um, 13 will do just fine. And then just drag over that line and then you will have to wait a little bit because it's taking a lot of time for the computer to content or fill it. I'm just doing this for an example because my other texture I'm going to, uh, that I'm going to use for my mountain um, is already seamless um, because I've done that before. Um, of course if you want to go really fancy you can um, take multiple textures and div um, compare them and just mix them together like a little bit of green and stuff like that and then just uh, layering them up and deleting some parts and adding some parts and get creative with it and then add that onto your mountain and it'll look a lot better than it will do on my project right now but it's all up to you to get creative and uh, get something nice. Uh, also if you have a nice result of this tutorial um, be sure to share it with me uh, on my Facebook page um, www.facebook.com slash tolerated cinematics um, so I can see what you've come up, uh, come up with. If you want to make a video you can also make a video response. So I'm going to do this for this this line as well and there we go. Um, okay. And once you've done that you want to save that uh, material as a JPEG format and then we can import it in Cinema 4D. Okay, this should be finished soon. Or not. It's taking a long time right now. Probably because I'm recording. Okay, it's done. Um, not too nice of a job, but you will have to do it better. Because I'm recording, I won't go uh, too far in this, but you can just click over here and redo that and redo the other parts. Like, as you can see over here, it's a little bit too dark. It's not looking too good, but um, I'm not going to care for this project right now. It's, um, yeah, just a tutorial. Save as. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to save it just in this folder as a dry grass ground texture okay and save it maximum quality okay go into cinema 4d open up your material for your cliff um, and then I'm going to deselect the speckler go to color and texture I'm going to load an image and I'm going to load a mountain texture. So it's not the same texture as before, as I said. Um, I only used that to show you how to do the offset healing um, technique. Um, so I'm going to open up this texture. I'm not going to save it in my folder. I'm going to copy this channel. And you want to paste ch uh, this channel into your bump channel. So select bump, go to texture and paste channel. Now go on the click on the arrow over here and add a filter click on the filter and desaturate it completely go back into your bump and maybe strengthen it by 30 percent go back in your filter because you want to make it a little bit more contrasty um, because everything that's white is going to bump up and everything that's black is going to bump down and it's just to give you a nice effect of really um, the texture of a mountain because if you don't do that uh, I'll show you two examples of the uh, with and without uh, later on. I'm going to close this material. It's really an easy material and um, again It's all up to you to get fancy uh, drop this onto the cliff click on the material and projection to cubic um, Maybe lengthen this uh, just a bit like 150 150 to make it a little bit bigger and There we go, and let's see what we have. Hopefully it's not looking too awful for this tutorial um, 
and yeah it's reflecting a little uh, a little bit of blue I'm going to add a new light just for this um, small problem just to fix it quickly um, area shadows okay and make it a little bit orange because of the sun you wanna replicate and then I'm going to position it right over here there we go looking pretty good I'm not gonna make it as strong 60 okay and there we go so this is our cliff maybe because of the hard corners you wanna add a little bit more fong or maybe delete the angle limits let's see what we do here just mess around a lot that's Cinema 4D just messing around and keep messing around and wait until you come up with something so um, yeah I'm just going to keep it without an angle limits um, okay so doesn't really matter okay so now we want to add some ground uh, on this uh, on this cliff if you want to you can also add some grass I have a grass tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out I'm not going uh, into that but to do that you should be going into your yeah perspective view should be fine take your live selection tool go into your polygon mode and then just selecting all the top parts of your cliff just like this and there we go Oh. I've selected too many, hold CTRL to deselect these okay, oh, I've made a stupid mistake, CTRL Z and hold SHIFT to continue your selection okay so once you've done that go to SELECT and make selection, set selection and uh, rename it to ground cliff hit enter and as you can see it will add a triangle and that triangle means a selection part so now if you click on it and do, 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 do. no now if you add a material let's add a material ground cliff uh, color load image I'm going to load that image that I created in Photoshop if I can find it again okay here we go nope copy this channel into the bump um, filtering it desaturating it adding contrast okay doesn't really do a lot I'm going to add some low clipping in here okay delete the speckler and close this drop this onto your material and as you can see it's covering up everything also the uh, projection to cubic and we don't want that to project on our complete um, cliff so how are we going to do that is by dragging this triangle of our ground and dragging this into the selection of the cliff so click on the cliff and over here selection and drag this into the cliff so as you can see my ground texture is a little bit small so I'm going to increase it by 200 um, also I'm going to add seamless because my seamless um, work from Photoshop doesn't seem to work pretty well as I said I've I didn't take enough time to create that I guess um, I'm also going to go to the object mode of my of my cliff and I'm going to enlargen it a little bit more and then drop it b down a bit just like this okay and now if we pre-render this let's see what we have um, also I think I've randomized my y-axis uh, from my crumble of my cliff a little bit too much because it's going up too much but whatever it's all up to you messing around again as I said um, so yeah now we want to add some nice mountains in the background um, so just go over here and add some landscapes um, yeah put them a little bit up over here uh, enlargen them like this maybe one long um, mountain over here in the background just like that looking fine copy pasting that making another one over here making it smaller and thinner but maybe even higher to come up like that and then I'm just going to use the same material but you can use different materials if you want to 
um, to keep um, original and unique um, so that'll really do a lot if you change the materials but for the sake of this tutorial is just to show you how to um, start creating projects like these um, not on how to create something nice okay so here we have our mountains in the background now what we can do is uh, add some random stones um, on this cliff over here um, so let's do that um, also if you click on sky and go to sky I'm going to lower the horizon because as you can see this stripe is really awful so I'm going to um, horizon start to negative 20 okay there we go um, maybe we'll wanna make a small landscape on our cliff itself really small one okay though there we go and there we go just to make some variation in our texture okay Uh, holding control from this uh, oh it's already it already has this material looking good okay so now let's add some uh, of our of our uh, stones over here so um, add a new sphere pull it up over here and make it a lot smaller just like a normal rock will be something like that and change the segments to let's say six um, also press C on the keyboard to make it editable go to point mode command A right click set point value six 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 enter um, let's see okay and now just add this material to that stone and delete the funk tag or no not deleting it let's say 10 and the region over here okay so that stone is looking pretty good um, now we are going back to the top view part and we are going to the bezier spline and just draw a spline I will explain why we are doing that we're going to make a spline over where the stones should be located so just randomize your spline overall of your cliff and then the stones will be everywhere so we'll understand later on what I mean by this okay there we go click over here go back to your perspective mode as you can see you don't have to close the spline pull the spline up oh no object mode pull it up okay complete spline and just pull it up enough just above the floor just like this it's looking pretty fine going to MoGraph, add a cloner object and then just the rock dra uh, drop and drag drag and drop it into the cloner and then just choose object and in the object you want to drag the spline and that will make the rock over and um, follow the spline along so uh, we can increase the amount to let's say 30 and then we can go to MoGraph effector and randomize it so random and then we want to position it not over the Y because we don't have flying rocks maybe just three um, the X and Y 50 okay scale can be everywhere one you can have all kinds of rocks uh, 360 360 360 okay let's see what this gives okay um, I can see the fong is way too low so I'm gonna increase it to 50 let's see what that gives maybe still too low maybe just keep it at 80 it has some okay so this is uh, looking a little bit better um, I'm going to add a little bit more bump to this one okay so I'm going to show you what bump does actually so as you can see now the mountain looks really textured because of the bump and if we deselect now uh, I'm going to let it render for a second over here okay so as you can see it's looking nice um, and realistic no not realistic it's motion graphics um, but if we deselect the, the bump you can see it's looking a lot flatter so 
I'm going to try and show you in a, in a render over here. So I'm going to render this as a PNG. Okay. Bump. Render this out. And no bump. Render this out. Uh, hopefully we'll see a, uh, a little bit of difference. Okay. So it's not doing too much over here. But as you can see, if you look really closely, I don't know if you will see this on record. Um, the texture is really going inside of it, so it's like actually textured and here it looks a little bit flatter. You, the contrast is a lot more at the bump but um, because we use such a low value it's not really going through with it and also because we don't have enough black so let's increase this low clipping and increase this right like this. Okay so now we will have a lot, of, a lot more bump. Okay so this is looking fine Um, I'm going to edit my light just a bit. I'm going to change it to a um, soft shadow, and I'm not sure where where it is anymore. Um, where is my light? Where is it? I have to find it again. Oh, I found it. There we go. Pulling it back pulling it up and let's see see you can get completely different um, kind of shots just because of changing the light so I'm going to copy and paste this light um, pulling one in the front so like that and decreasing its intensity to 30 maybe 50 or 40 okay so I kinda like this part over here so what you can do now is adding grass on some parts of our cliff um, adding some different kind of materials onto your cliff so like it's kind of green plants uh, coming through um, adding some some trees or dead trees or whatever um, maybe something um, on the angles over here another kind of rock right over here but just a simple rock um, adding a different sky making your own preset because this is looking pretty fake and template uh, <laughs> okay and I'm not sure how to tell that uh, and the floor I'm not really sure about the floor I I don't really like the floor but um, at least you got a cliff so <laughs> the tutorial did what it said um, okay so this is my tutorial on how to create a cliff. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you didn't, um, well, tell me what I could do better. If you did, please hit the like button and um, be sure to subscribe because I have a lot of other tutorials to come come up and I have already made a lot of tutorials. So you can also check these out if you didn't already. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.